At Kaskaskia College, we try to make the automotive program as real as possible. What we do is have real situations in the shop where the students make their own work orders, they order their own parts, and are able to fix the car the same day without starting a project, waiting some time, and not being able to get it all finished in one day. Repairing cars is problem solving. So to get to people in that mindset that they're, they're problem solving and not just throwing parts and guessing. You know, we, we talked about this, I saw a cartoon one time and it had a guy, I can fix any car. All I gotta do is throw these parts at the car and they keep throwing parts at the car and whatever sticks fixes the car. We don't teach that at Kaskaskia College. We teach how to fix a car correctly, uh, doing the right diagnostic processes and not just throwing parts at cars, not being a parts changer. So we get phone calls weekly basis that they're looking for technicians. There's a, going to be a huge shortage. Um, there's a new article in Automotive Service Association of America. 75% of the technicians that are working today are 45 years or older. 35% are 55 or older right now out there working in the field. So you can see within the next 10 years, we're gonna need a lot of technicians. And cars are gonna keep getting more sophisticated and more sophisticated. This year, you can buy an Audi and it will be able to drive hands-free on the interstate in the United States too, It's it, the technology's there. The automotive industry is huge. One of the great things about the automotive industry is you don't have to stay here. The cars are the same nationwide. If I learn how to work on cars here in Illinois, I can pick up and go move to wherever I want to go. Also, do you have to work at a car dealership or at a repair facility? Uh, you could work for the government. I got a degree from Automotive Technology and I'm going to work for AT&T. I'm not working on the telephones, I'm working on their fleet of vehicles. So you're just not stuck in one spot. You can go and move around. And the flexibility of this skill set is wonderful. Also, you can go on. Uh, my students can transfer down to Carbondale and get their four-year baccalaureate degree in automotive technology. Where are they gonna go work? Well, they're probably not gonna be fixing cars. They're gonna be working for the manufacturers. They're gonna be working for Cummings. They're gonna be working for Mitsubishi. They're gonna go work for GM and they're gonna be working, maybe not in the technical field, probably, they might be in sales or they might be in the parts part, but they're still working with cars and still working, they might be developing tools. The only thing that is bad about this is I don't get instant gratification because the kids will say, you know, you don't know for sure if you taught them anything and then a couple years they come back, boy, I sure learned a lot from you, Mr. DiBernardi. You know, I get, I have phone calls from them all the time. I'm Chuck DiBernardi and I teach automotive at Kaskaskia College.